Traditional drum circles like this strike a powerful heartbeat throughout Indian country. But on some reservations, native youth are adopting a different rhythm. Coming up a young G, another native kid not giving a f talking about the crazy sh I did. I ain't gonna lie, I come from a broken home. I'm a straight rider, leave you with a broken dome. Taking killer hits to the boy. This is the Pine Ridge Sioux Reservation, South Dakota, one of the poorest places in the country, and it's increasingly plagued by gangs who imitate urban groups like the Crips and Bloods. I'm 33rd, Northside Trade Trade Gangsta Crip, you know? 33rd, you know? 24 so. year old Richard Wilson has already carried five of his fellow gang members to the grave because of drugs, suicide, and gang violence. Yeah, this is where our Lakota, you know, Lakota people came from, you know, it's right around here. I've been up on a reservation all my life, you know. A lot of people say it's um, like trash, you know. But to me, it's just like, you know, living in a ghetto, you know. I mean, I mean, it's just like living in the city, you know. People fighting each other, shooting each other, you know. Someone's getting beat up every other night. This is my brother. I just turned 24, man, so this is my, me and my brother. He and his 18-year-old half-brother, Richard Lame, are two of an estimated 5,000 youths involved with gangs on the Pine Ridge Reservation. That's one of every 10 people. Yeah, we had uh, the Wild Boys, TBZ, we had Trey Trays, we had Nomads, A-Town, Eastern Side, you know, Indian Mafia, Amster Gangsters. You know, I could go on. I mean, then we got... This is John Musso. He served as a local police officer for 14 years before becoming chair of the Tribal Judiciary Committee. He says that the number of gangs proliferated in the 1990s when money for tribal law enforcement dropped. But recently, violence is increasing. In recent years, there's been a... Uh, some homicides, which is kind of uh, just don't happen in small communities. So assaults against police officers, against people that's not gang related, it, it, it continued to rise and a lot of intimidation. So it, it started affecting our, 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 the whole public. Many native gangs are homegrown, with few, if any, ties to the large urban gangs they take their names and style from. So we got our gang members, they, they burn their arms. So like branding, so they burn them. And the difference between our gangs and big city gangs are in the cities, they're territorial. You know, they, they claim a neighborhood. And when they sell drugs, it's for profit for the gang. There are one or two people profit, and they show a large sum of money. It's not like that here because we're an impoverished people, impoverished land. So it's more they're fighting over scraps. They're not fighting over money. I got at least 30. 30 homeboys rolling with me. That's Richard Lame. Unlike most, he stayed in school, but he's also a member of the Black Wall Street Boys. I don't know. I do it for, for I don't know, for the joy of it, for the fun. I don't know, for the rush, for the thrill, I guess, whatever it is. You get money, that's right, through, through selling things or through yeah, stealing things? Yeah, through selling things, things stealing, robbing, whatever we got to do to get money. With theft and violent crime on the rise, Pine Ridge officials have pled for more funds to bolster law enforcement. And as on other reservations facing gang problems, tribal members here, like Michael Littleboy, are fighting gangs on the cultural front, teaching Lakota language and values. It's like a prayer song, and it's asking uh, for like forgiveness and strength. The gang, right out the door, it's always there, you know, and uh, no matter what, we fight with the spirituality. The singing and dancing and everything, we use that to uh, prevent um, young children from uh, gang violence and uh, uh, different things that come and go on on the reservation. We got a lot of absent parentism. They may be absent because through of uh, drug abuse, through alcohol abuse. They need to belong somewhere. And just like any other place, that gang gives them that false sense of belonging. Today, Rich Wilson says he's not as active in gangs as he used to be. Ever since birth, I've been waiting for death. So you can bet I'm going to be thugging until my last breath. Gangs and despite his negative lyrics, Richard Lame privately says he wants to leave Pine Ridge and find a profession. Music or computer work, mechanics or something, anything I'm good at, whatever is my future ahead anyway. Hopefully it's a good, bright one. Aren't you worried that you might get a criminal record that'll prevent that? Maybe if I keep doing the stuff I'm doing, yeah. Mess up, slip up, sit behind bars, I don't know. 
Yeah. Gotta get my, my, my mind right, my thoughts straight. Gotta get on top somehow.